I've come out to this creepy abandoned parking lot to test the image stabilization features of the Sony a7 III and see if they're any good for video. The Sony a7 III features a remarkable image stabilization technology called SteadyShot. Basically what it does is move the sensor around as you shake the camera to create a steadier image. It's almost like having the sensor on a gimbal itself. This technology was primarily intended for photography, so if you're taking handheld shots, you can get a little bit of extra stabilization out of it, even when there's not enough light to take a fast shot. However, I'm a video guy, so what I want to know is how the steady shot image stabilization technology affects handheld video. I desperately want it to be as good as something like GoPro's HyperSmooth technology, but given the complexities of doing that with a DSLR or mirrorless camera, I can't imagine that it's going to work the same. So let's take some footage and see what this thing can do. So I'm going to basically hold the camera at my chest in kind of a traditional photographer pose. One hand on the grip, one hand under the lens. I'm going to try it with the in-body image stabilization on, and I'm going to try it with it off and compare the results. I don't know about you, but I didn't see a whole lot of difference there. It definitely wasn't anything as impressive as the GoPro Hyper Smooth or similar technologies that create incredibly smooth footage even while the camera is moving around. I can totally see where this technology can be super useful for photography because sometimes you are shooting handheld and you just need those couple extra stops of stability while you're shooting in low light. However, for video work, I can't see where Sony's steady shot in-body image stabilization technology makes anything other than an incremental fractional difference. If I pull this footage up in Premiere and really analyze it, I can probably see where one's a little more stable than the other. But for practical uses, for vlog vlogging, for shooting handheld while walking, anything like that, I don't think it's going to make a huge difference. So that's it for this test of the Sony a7 III. If you're into video stuff like this, here are a couple other videos you might be interested in.